guys welcome back to another video i hope you are all doing okay i am so sorry that it has been so long since my last upload it has just been a crazy crazy couple of weeks i am actually going on holiday um tomorrow it's um been a, a while few weeks to say the least if you are an nail tech you will understand the struggles of when you go on holiday and it just gets a little bit crazy because everyone wants booking in before you go and then after you come back and it just went a little bit crazy to be fair i actually feel like it's been like that since christmas like i feel like i was ready and raring on my last upload i remember saying to you guys it's january now things will calm down like i'll have time to upload more blah 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 and did it happen no it didn't i feel like it didn't really calm down whatsoever some of my weeks in january were as big, busy as christmas week and it was just absolutely crazy hence why i have gone mia and you are only just hearing from me now um do not worry i haven't forgotten about you i haven't forgotten about the giveaway i haven't forgotten about giving you everything that you um, are asking me for and you know I've got a list of all the requests that you guys have asked for and I'll be getting my way through them um, but I wanted to make the giveaway a priority because I know that I did say I would do it at the start of the year so that is what this video is going to be along with a little um, buy a bin fill for you because it was time to do my holiday nails and they were in dire need of a little revamp so I thought when i'm doing my own nails i will sit down i'll film it for you and i will talk you through everything that i'm using talk you through my updated um prep my updated application and we've got a little friend sheet in there for you as well um i have done a full um friendship video so when i get to that i will link it but um i did include a little bit of it just for you to basically see how i did it um, so we did a shape change we went from square to almond um, and it was a biob soak off and fresh set so um, I filmed that for you and like I say this is what this video is all about and also to talk about the giveaway um, but for now I hope you enjoy the um, tutorial of my biob infill and we will get straight into it so first of all what we're going to do is i'm going to grab my barrel bit and i'm going to use my barrel bit to take down the bulk of the nail because we are soaking these off i just want to take down as much as i possibly can um, with my e-file just because it saves time with soaking off um, so i'm just going to file that down and basically just get it as thin as i possibly can without touching the natural nail so i'm just going to take it all over the um grown out area so just like the the builder gel we're not going to use this on our natural nail it's just purely to take the um, top layer off and just debulk as much as we possibly can um, I absolutely love this bit for doing this process because um, it just takes it down like a lot so it just saves so much time when you are going to be soaking them off um, so I've prepared my little cotton pads for um, the removal so once I've taken down all of the bulk, I will pop my little cotton pads on with my soak off clips, which will you will see in just a little minute. Um, I have linked the um, soak off clips on my Amazon um, nail tech finds, I think. I will try and find the video and link it in the top corner for the soak off clips that I use. Um, but you will just see these in a little minute i'm just checking the side profile of these all the time by the way just to make sure i'm filing them nice and thin um so these are the soak off clips that i'm talking about i got these from amazon and i did link these in um i think it was my amazon finds um nail tech video so um that's what i use for my builder gel soak off that is literally just a cotton pad cut up um into tiny little squares and then in my acetone bottle um, I'll just pump it, uh, pump the acetone onto the little um, cotton pads and pop my clips on and I'll leave that for around 10 minutes or so. So I filmed the removal. So all I do is I just grab a little scraper um, and I scrape the builder gel off. I was a little bit um, premature with doing the thumb. I think I got a little bit impatient um but we are going to take off what we can anyway 
I did mention a little bit earlier that we're going to be doing a shape change so that's why I just clipped the corners off um, because there is no point in me removing product on those corners of the nails anyway because they are going to be going. So here I'm using my 180 240 file from Nobu and I'm just going to basically reshape them and also just um, file off the product as well. So once I've scraped it, um, I'll just run over it with my file and just um, remove some of the excess builder. Some of them will come off easier than others. I actually always do find that the thumbs always take a little bit longer. Um, but yeah, so I'm just filing and shaping and this is what they are looking like. So I've not done any of my cuticle prep yet, but I'm going to get into this now. So I am going to be using um, my pip drill bit. This again is from Nobu and I'm just going to basically go around all of that cuticle area. I absolutely love this bit. It literally picks up um, the cuticle so, so well and just neatens it all up and just gets it lifted. Um, in preparation for the cuticle nippers um, to nip away that cuticle. So I go in with the pip drill bit first, which is this one, and then I go in with my flame bit second. So that's what you'll see here. And the thing that I do love about the flame bit is that it also etches around um, like a good area, like surface area around the cuticle as well. Because if you are worried about getting that nail file up close to your client's cuticles, this almost does it for you so that you are um, kind of working not so close to the skin with your actual nail file. Um, so I'm just gonna get rid of that dust and this is what we're left with. So I'm gonna go in with my cuticle nippers now and just nip away that cuticle. I swear to God, it is literally my favorite bit. Like, ah, oh, look at that. So, so satisfying. So that is my prep done. Obviously, obviously sped that up a little bit. Um, I'm just going to give that a wipe over with um, a lint-free wipe with acetone on and that will dehydrate it nicely in preparation for the Builder Gel. So that's how we're looking um, when I'm ready for my Builder Gel. This is Glitterbell's Cookie Cream Brush on Builder Gel. When I tell you this is my holy grail, if you watch my YouTube quite a lot, then you will know. Um, but this builder gel for me is just oh, so, so lovely. It goes out of stock so, so fast. So when you get a notification saying that it's in stock, you need to act fast because it literally sells out so quickly and they must sell so much of it because sometimes it takes a while for it to come back in stock as well. So when you see it in stock, literally take advantage and order as much as you can <laughs> because I just find this builder gel suits so many skin tones it just is flawless for French for any designs and obviously um it's perfect for you know just putting a gel color on top because it's such a light shade that it doesn't actually affect the color over the top as well um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just doing a thin first layer for my builder gel. So I do a thin first layer and I do fully cure this for 99 seconds. So just getting right up into the cuticle and I like almost like try and scrub this in. So proper get it into um, the nail bed and like scrub it in as much as you can. Um, so you'll see my brush like making little motions like to scrub it into the, into the um, nail bed. And this will just make sure that your retention is 10 out of 10. Um, so like I say, cure that for 99 seconds and that is all cured. I'm gonna go in with my second bead now. I place my um, my bead just a little bit away from the cuticle so that I can push it back into the cuticle area. So I push that back like, I, like you can see and then I float the bead down. Sometimes you can run out of um, Builder Gel. It's absolutely fine to go back in for more. Um, obviously my nails aren't super long in this video so I don't need to pile the product on at all. I just need to make sure it's all nice and covered. Um, now, when you're applying your Builder Gel, you don't need to worry about it too much with your actual brush because when I do my Builder Gel infills or fresh sets, my fine liner does most of it for me. So I basically just use the brush in the bottle to place the product pretty much where I want, but then I use my fine liner for so much more because I just run this around the um, cuticle area, down the side walls, and you can just place your product exactly where you want it. Now, what I would say is that it's good to have your Builder Gel at kind of like a cool temperature because if it's really, really warm where you're working, the Builder Gel goes runnier. 
Um, I do also check the side profile before they go into the lamp and what you will see is that I like to add a little bit of product just in this area here because I saw that that was looking a little bit thin. I check my side pro profile of the nails that I'm doing all of the time. Make sure you are looking at the side profile before they go into the lamp because you don't want them lumpy. You want to make sure that you are applying as though you don't have a file. Um, I just run that around, check the pro side profile again and I'm a little bit happy with that. So um, I also just use the light to show me the reflection as well. Um, I didn't want to film absolutely every single nail um, of me applying the build gel just because it can get a little bit boring. So I just filmed, I think two, um, so I filmed the thumb and then also this middle finger here. Um, also the angles are a little bit different, I just didn't know which one would be best so I thought I would include both of them anyway. Um, but like I say, again just using my bottle brush um, to place the product and then using my fine liner for most of the work, um, like I say, just getting the products tucked into the cuticles and down the side walls and just making sure that it is exactly where you want it to be. Um, I actually quite often run my fine liner just up and down, mainly from the tip to the cuticle, which you will see here. So this just makes sure that the product is even and just self levels really nicely. I do find that this product self levels amazingly anyway. Um, but yeah, I just like to just run it up and down and you can see the light reflection. And can you see it correct itself? I use my light reflection to basically tell me where I've got too much product. You can see the kind of curves in it and it should re reflect perfectly. Again, checking the side profile before it goes into the lamp and I'm making sure that I'm happy with it before I cure it. So this is how my nails are looking. That is the side profile of them all. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm not gonna need to do much refinement with these. I'm just gonna run over with a lint-free white with some acetone on um, just to remove the tacky layer. And then with regards to refining, all I do usually is just refine the shape. So I'll just run my file um, around the nails, just get the shape back. Not that it lost much anyway. Then I'm gonna be doing my Frenchies with Unbelievable Gels in white. Again, using my fine liner. Honestly, if you don't have a fine liner, you need to invest because I use mine every single day. <laughs> um, so yeah, this is me doing my Frenchies. I am, um, like I say, I'm using the Unbelievable Gels in white. I use the Unbelievable Gels for all of my Frenchies. I just find the pigment is just perfect. Um, so I'm just going to do my smile line first and then I'm going to fill it in and then like I say you can you can go back in and you know make any changes if you want to but I'm just going to fill that in and then if I want to go back and revisit the smile line then I can do I usually do because I'm always just looking thinking oh I'll just add a bit there I'll add a bit there <laughs> um but yeah so that is how I do my Frenchies um a good fine liner is all that you need it's going to be your best friend and make sure you look after it too because honestly you will find yourself picking it up all the time um so yeah just filling that in i'm not going to do go too thick with my frenchies that will be just perfect i think love that um so yeah didn't film all of them i just top coated them and um yeah this is the final look i just need to oh yes one thing i do do with my frenchies no matter what the shape i will always refine afterwards so once i've top coated i just like to re regain that shape so i just neaten up the edges with my file nothing crazy just literally running my file really really lightly underneath i just find this neatens them up really really well um so yeah, and then we are ready for cuticle oil. So this is the pineapple one from Glispals. And I actually do have the retail pack for this for my clients to purchase as well, um, which is great to just have on your desk. And um, your clients can purchase them if they don't have any cuticle oil at home already. Um, so I'm just drenching those cuticles in cuticle oil. And there is the finished look little thumb profile and we're done so there you go guys that was the final look and that was me holiday ready and i feel like damn i need it honest to god feel like 
obviously Christmas is meant to be a bit of a break for everyone. I have some time off, but obviously in this industry, it's just absolutely crazy. I feel like I didn't really get a proper break at Christmas because it's just crazy. I was working in between Christmas and New Year, and then I was back working on the 2nd of January. So I feel like I really didn't have that much of a break. So this holiday for me is finally a time where I can have a little bit of a break and I'm so, so excited about it. I'm actually having two weeks off work, which I don't think I've ever done. Um, boy, have I paid for it, but, um, you know, honestly, the, the amount of clients that I have to fit into like two weeks that would have been across four weeks, damn, I've paid for it. Honestly, it's been mental and it's not over yet because it's just a bit crazy when I get back to, but that's why I wanted to make sure that I got this out for you. I, like I say, go in the morning, um, it's currently... 20 past six and i go in the morning and um, but i'm filming this and i'm going to edit it tonight so hopefully it's up for you guys um on sunday so fingers crossed when you're watching this i will um not be in this country well not in my country anyway wherever you're watching it um and hopefully i'll be on holiday somewhere getting a nice tan so yeah but this was my priority before i left i thought i need to get another upload going especially for my giveaway so as you patiently waited, my giveaway is going to be for some Glitter Bells gift vouchers. Now, I mentioned in my last video about what I should do my giveaway as, like what would you guys like to see in the giveaway? But obviously all of you guys are completely different. Some of you are acrylic nail techs, some of you biab nail techs, some of you are gel nail techs, some of you are beginners, some of you have already got kit, some of you haven't got anything. So that's why I thought, I will do a gift voucher giveaway so that you guys can go on and order exactly what you want because why should I choose that for you? I shall let you choose, let, let you choose what you want. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the gift voucher for £150 on Glitterbell's website. I'm going to leave it up to you whether we have um, three winners that are that amount split or whether we should have one winner for the whole amount. Um, so I'm going to leave that to you. Leave it in the comments. I will let you decide. And whatever we, whichever has the most suggestions, then I will do that. So we'll either have one winner or we can have three different winners, like for a smaller amount. So um, yeah, I'll leave that to you. Let me know in the comments below. So all you need to do to enter the giveaway is to subscribe to my channel on YouTube and also follow me on Instagram. And then once you've done that, just drop a comment in the um, just in the comments below, just saying done, and I will pick out of my comments who wins. Um, so yes, I will um, announce it in two weeks time, two weeks from this video, once I'm back and I will announce it and pop it in the comments as to who's won. And like I say, I will leave it up to you guys. If you want me to pick one winner or you can pick, or I can pick three winners for the um, separate amount. So um, yeah, just comment done and then your suggestion as to whether we should have one or three winners and um yeah i'll leave it up to you guys um but yes yeah, so it will be for a glitter bells gift voucher i'll send you a code that you will just enter at checkout and it will be for whatever the amount will be i will leave it up to you um but yeah so i thought that would be the easiest way to do it so that you guys can choose whatever you want from the website depending on what you're working on how what stage you're at what you're in need of and it's just my little way of saying thank you so so much for all of your support over the past few years because i needed a youtube giveaway it was it was slacking um so yeah i'm just um i'm excited oh, i'm so excited winner um i love doing giveaways and um hopefully one of you lucky people will be the winner um i have um like i said done um glitter bells unboxings i've done unboxing swatches any of my tutorials i will show you and tell you whatever i use that's glitter bells in there so you've probably seen by now um exactly the stuff that i use and if you go on my instagram as well i'll always write in the description box whichever products that i'm using so um hopefully you will pick out some of your faves and then hopefully we'll have one lucky person that or three lucky people that will win the gift voucher so hopefully you love that hopefully it was a good suggestion and um yeah thank you so so much for watching i will see you hopefully not too soon um i will try and keep on top of my uploads as much as i can and again if you have any suggestions as to what you want to see then you can leave them in the comments as well so thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next video bye